Number 17. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of salts in contact with a solution containing a common ion. Show that it is not appropriate to neglect the changes in the initial concentration of the common ions. Oh, no. Okay. That means that we can't, you know, approximate, right? If we cannot neglect changes... Um, we can't approximate our values and therefore we're probably going to have to do some harder math, but we will see. So I had to go in the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product, the KSP for BAF2 is, right? It's 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. This is the compound that's going to be dissolving, un you know, undergoing dissolution. So this solid is the one that has the KSP. So the first thing is whenever you have a KSP, you got to write the balanced equation. So we got Ba, F2, and that's a solid. We're talking about equilibrium, so I need to see double arrows. And then it's going to break down into its two ions. The break is between the barium and the fluorine, right? So I got Ba. Hold on, I got Ba. What is going on? Ba, that's pretty good, plus F. We need charges because these are ions. We could either crisscross the charge, you know, so the subscripts back up, but barium is always in group two, right? It's in group two on the periodic table. That's a plus two. And fluorine being a halogen, group 17, those are minus one charges. They're aqueous because they have charges. And now we just have to balance. Seems like I do need to put a two in front of the fluorine. I have two fluorine. And then everything else is good. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. But then I'm just going to use it to find my KSP equation. Remember, we've done tons of problems already, right? KSP just equals the products, raise of the coefficients. So the KSP here would be equal to BA 2 plus times the F minus 1. And we just have to raise it to its coefficients. There is only one uh, barium, so I don't have to raise that to anything, but the fluorine, there's a two in front of here, so I have to raise the fluorine to the second power. We know that the KSP is 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth, but I don't know what these concentrations are. So this is where I'm going to start using variables. However, just see if you're starting off with any common ions. Now KF Potassium is a group one ion, and remember, all group one ions, according to the solubility rules, they're always aqueous. So they're always going to dissolve into its two ions. So we have K, maybe I'll put it over here, KF, that's aqueous. That will break down 100% into its two ions. It's between the potassium and the fluorine. Potassium is group one, so plus one. Fluorine, just like we said earlier, is a minus one. Looks like it's balanced. So I'm just going to highlight this and just say that it is all a one to one to one. So I'm starting off with 0 0.0313 molarity. But the thing is, is that which ion do I care about? I only care about the one that is common, AKA the same. Out of these two sets, which is the common ion? Yeah, it's the fluorine one. So I don't even care about the potassium. Now just look at your ratios. It's a one to one. So whatever this KF has to be, the fluoride ion has to be the same. So this would be 0 0.0313 molarity. And since you're dissolving it in the KF, this molarity was already there in the beginning. This is your initial molarity. And any time that you say initial, you have to write an ice table. So I'm coming over here, and I'm writing my ice table out, I-C-E. Remember, solids, who cares? So I'm just going to cancel this whole side out. And you're starting with your fluorine. You're starting with 0 0.0313 molarity. You didn't start off with any barium, so zero. The change... Since you start off with nothing, you can only go up from there. So that would be plus X. 
and plus 1x, and the same here, but this would be plus 2x. Combine them, 0 plus x is just x, and then this would be 0 0.0313 plus 2x. And now, whoop, and now these are your two equilibrium values that are going to go in your KSP. So the barium ion is going to be x, and the fluoride ion is going to be 0 0.0313 plus 2x. Now here's the thing. Fingers crossed, you know, when you do these problems that you can approximate and you can say that the change from your initial concentration to your final is not great, that this won't even move this number. So generally, we approximate by getting rid of the plus 2x in this case. So I'm just going to set it up for you, and then I'm just going to find x because it already is telling us that we can't do that, but it says show it. So... If we approximate it, and I said 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth equals, uh, this would be x, and then this would be 0 0.0313 squared. If we just take some time and solve for x, what are we going to get? Well, I have to square that. Oop. I have to square that, so 0 0.0313 squared. And then I will take 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth and divide it by that answer. So I get roughly 0 0.0245 molarity. Now here we know if our approximation is correct. It's the 5% rule. What we're going to do is we're going to take our number and divide it by the initial, which is 0 0.0313, and we're going to times that by 100. Hopefully, our number is 5 or less, because then we assumed correctly and we could go on our merry way. But in this case, 0 0.0245 divided by 0 0.0313 times 100, yeah, I get 78%. So we can't approximate here, unfortunately, which means that I have to go back, and I can't just get rid of that plus 2x. I have to keep it there. And now we have to do the math with the actual plus 2x. So let's do it for real. So I'm just going to say we did not. We failed the 5% rule. And now here we go. 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth equals... Oh, man, I, I can already see what's going to happen here. This is not... Oh man, this is, this is not going to be good. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Right off the bat, I have to do double bubble. <laughs> yeah. So remember, when you have something squared, that means you have two of them being multiplied by each other. So 0 0.0313 plus 2x 0 0.0313 plus 2x. And now I have to do my FOIL. So I have to multiply this by this. Actually, I think I... This by this, and by this by this, and then this by this, and this by this. Okay. So, let's see. 0 0.0313 times 0 0.0313. I get 9.79... 6, 9 times 10 to the negative fourth, 0 0.0313 times 2, plus, now I'm doing the second term, 0.0626x, that was this times this, and then it's the same thing, moving inward, 0.0626x, and then plus 4x squared. Combine like terms, right? I can plus the two x's together, 0 0.0626 plus 0 0.0626. I can just erase one of them. And this will become 0.1252x plus 4x squared. Now keep in mind that this is this part, right? 
Now, we are timesing it by another x value. <laughs> and then let me just put this over here. Am I doing this correctly? Yeah. Weird. This one is crazy. 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth equals this. And now we just have to distribute. So 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 9.7969 times 10 to the negative fourth x plus 0 0.1252 x squared plus 4x cubed. Now we have to get everything over to one side. So I'm going to minus 2.4 times 10 to the negative 5 minus 2.4 times 10 to the negative 5. And what I'm going to do is pause the video if you need to, but I'm going to erase this one. And I'm going to put the, the numbers on the top, starting with your x, uh, 4x cubed. So 4x cubed plus 0 0.1252x squared plus 9.7969 times 10 to the negative fourth x minus 2.4, squeezing this all the way over here, I can't believe they're giving this question to us, times 10 to the negative fifth. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to erase all of this. And remember, this is all equal to zero. Now, Usually, if we have like a trinomial, x squared plus x plus a random number, we'll use the quadratic equation. However, we have x cubed, x squared, an x, and a random number. I can't use the quadratic equation for that. The only thing that I can do is I'm going to take out my handy dandy graphing calculator and I'm going to plug this into the equation and check it out on a graph. From there, I'm going to find my two zeros. One technically should be negative and one technically should be positive. So what I'm going to say is, you know, plug in on your graphing calculator. Okay. So here I go. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, you know, y equals. I got y1 equals, and I'm going to plug it all in. So 4, where's my x value? 4x raised to the third plus 0.1252x raised to the second plus 9.7969 times 10 to the negative fourth times x minus 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now, it is in my calculator. I'm going to press the word graph and I should get a graph. And now I'm basically just going to go to my table and see if I could find zeros. So let's see, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling down. I should be able to get something. Do I have an actual value? Let's see. Now, after some finagling, I, I did kind of get the closest x value that I can get to when y equals 0 was basically an x equals 0 0.1116 molarity. Now, you could try it on your own. Go to your graphing calculator, plug this in. Whoop. Plug this equation in and just look at the graph. Now well, all we have to do is just plug into this x value into these numbers. So seems like we have a BA 2 plus concentration, which was just x. So that would be 0 0.1116 molarity. And then for our F minus, 
it was 0 0.0313 plus 2x. So we have to plug in that x value into the equation. So 0 0.0313 plus 2 times 0 0.1116. And I get roughly 0 0.2. 545. That's molarity. And these are your two concentrations of your solutes. Oh my goodness. But yeah, once again, we could not have done the uh, quadratic equation because we have an x cubed here. So the only thing that we could do was plug it into the graphing calculator and find like a, uh, a y intercept. All right? Or uh, not a y-intercept, an x-intercept, where y equals 0. Yes. Okay. So, thank you so much. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.